Good evening everyone, my name is Subete and welcome to the channel And today I will be bringing you guys an unboxing of a very 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 old booster This booster right here The Astral Booster 01 This, this is the first ever Astral Booster for Vanguard And it is super old Really spec in 2011 for the Japanese version and 2013 for the English version it, take, it took them like 2 years to release this in English but I got an English one for you and fun fact uh, Astro Booster 01 is the first ever booster to introduce Murakumo so I am so excited because I love Murakumo Murakumo is my favorite clan along with Neo Nectar uh, without further ado let us open this box This is a relic, boys and girls, a true relic, very old booster, Man I managed to find it, uh, find it in my um, local game store, they, s they are selling this box for like $10 per box, which is super cheap, I, I couldn't blame them because this is like very old, but the cards in here are quite e irrelevant right now, especially in the uh, G era, but we will, uh, we will see. Oh, whoa, whoa, what the hell? Oh, wow. I didn't know we will get this. I didn't know it, 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 it's part of the thing. I, I, this is dope. This is dope as hell. Damn. Uh, this is the uh, Escapades the Blaster. Oh wow, I, I, didn't, I didn't know this uh, set will, will provide this promo uh, I, I would think, I, I thought that it would be like, you know, a random promo or maybe like a, a checklist of cards But I didn't expect to have this promo from this box I, did, I didn't do much of a research and yeah, Escapade the Blaster now that's, that's a really old school card, it's a great tree with uh, 12k power base, first of its kind, kind of. Uh, let's read the skill, uh, Escapade the Buster, uh, continuous from hand, if you do not have a great tree warrior paladin vanguard, you cannot normal call, uh, no, normal ride this card, so you can't ride, you can't use this guy to ride if you have two, a great two or something. And continuous Vanguard ability. If you do not have a card named Blaster Blade in your soul, this unit cannot attack. So you must have a Blaster Blade in your soul to have uh, Escapade the Blaster to attack. Also ability. When this unit is placed onto the rear guard circle, retire this unit. So you, so it's like you you can't call this to the guard to the rear guard circle. It has to be on the Vanguard. Uh, Egg ability counter blast three until the end of turn. Uh, this unit battles all of your opponent unit in one attack. So, uh, narrow kami before it was cool. Auto ability, Vanguard Circle. When this unit attacks, put all cards in your soul not named Blaster Blade into your drop zone. And this unit gets 2k until the end of turn for each card put into your drop zone this way. So, when this guy attacks, so blast every single thing except for blaster blade and this guy gets 2k for each card you so blast that way essentially and the last uh the last skill at the at the end of the battle that this unit attack choose a great choose a card named blaster blade from your drop zone or so and write it as rest put all cards in your soul into your drop zone so you can so after he attacks, you, you have to write back your blaster blade. This card is damn... It's, well, well, in my opinion, it's quite hard to find. But I will take this any day. What a way to start off this video, eh? Alright, now to the actual video where we unbox and unpack all of these um, extra booster packs. There are a total of 15 packs and each pack has 15 cards. So let us start with the uh, opening. 
First off, we have Prowling Dragon uh, Shriken from Kagero. Man, all of these are so old! And this guy has restrained them! Wow! It's so old, it's like Relic. I'm looking at Relic cards right now. Uh, restrain and this guy attack. If there's no boosting unit, this guy get 5k. And if another Kagero write this, choose one of your Vanguard and he gets 5k and run crit shirt off the bat. Wow! It's just wow. We have oh we have Cat Butler oh man Cat Butler, Cat Butler is so broken. I tell you that much. If you mix Cat Butler with uh Razor deck from Nova Grappler, I tell you, it's a straight OTK, one turn kill. Cat Butler, broken man. I don't even know why they have, they do not limit this yet. Oh Fushimi, damn. I always wanted Fushimi, but I could not find it because this set is damn old, it's so hard to find. Fushimi, the first, one of the first from Murakumo, Murakumo was introduced in this set like I said. Uh, when this when this unit writes a Murakumo, this unit gets um, the continuous skill. If this unit would attack, it, it may instead attack an opponent's unit in the back row. So you can attack the back row uh, unit rather than the vanguard. So th that is very cool. I like this. Lozenge Magus, the the uh, re re art. Very nice. Lozenge Magus re art. I like it a lot. And oh my god! Oh man, Zambaku. We got Zambaku. Man, if Zambaku is so hard to find. Well, it, I mean, you can find it in your locus where they have huge collection, but still, to get Zambaku as our triple rare, damn, I am so happy right now. Uh, during Dragon Zambaku from Murakumo, um, continuous skill if you don't, if you have a non Murakumo Vanguard or Rear Guards, this unit get minus 2k. And auto ability at the beginning of your opponent's right phase, if your opponent has a great tree or greater vanguard, your opponent may choose a card from his or her hand and discard it. If your opponent does not, your opponent cannot normal right during their right phase. So this guy can really, um, how would you say, uh, annoy the hell out of your opponent who likes to break right. So yeah, Zambaku, I didn't expect to have Zambaku. Uh, to, to pull Zambaku. I know that Zambaku is in this set, but I don't I didn't expect to pull him from the set. So yeah. Damn man. This is every this is just the first pack. Let me tell you. This is just the first pack. Alright, next we have starting a presenter for Peer Moon. When another unit writes this unit, you may as well charge two. We have another one, Luck Pigeon for Pale Moon. Uh, machining Mantis. I like Machining. I play the Machining. Uh, but this guy is meh. It's alright. We have Warboy from Moa Grappler. And Xanon, the star of this pack, as you can see right here. Xanon skill. Uh, when this unit is placed on the Rear Guard Circle, if you have a Royal Paladin Vanguard, reveal the top card of your deck. If the reveal card is a Royal Paladin with the same grade as your Vanguard, ride it. If it's not, put that card into your drop zone. So, it, it, it seems alright, but there is a uh, there is a Rush deck that based off from Xenon. But, I don't think it's, you know, quite good. But still, Xenon. Alright, Boomerang Thrower, uh, Jumping Jill for Pure Moon, Jumping Jill is quite alright, I like this, uh, this um, card, uh, when this unit is placed on the regular circle from your soul, if you have a Pure Moon Vanguard, this get 3k until the end of turn, uh, which is what Pure Moon usually do, call units from the soul and attack from there, so it's quite good. Uh, Razor Custom, Razor Custom, damn that's old. Uh, during your turn, if you have a unit named Battle Razor in the back row 
of the same column as this unit, it gets 6k. So it can, if you have a better razor in the same column, this guy can attack for quite a high number. A shelter beetle, a mega colony, and oh, bellicosity dragon for Kagero. The, the first bellicosity dragon from Kagero, not the extra booster 09 reprint version. This is the first one. This, this card is actually quite good because when this unit attack hits, uh, you can counter charge one. And this is for both Vanguard and Rearguard ability, so it's quite good uh, for Kagero, especially in uh, Novel deck. Next up, we have starting presenter again Cap Butler, the broken card. Uh, right Arrestor for Murakumo. Right Arrestor skill. Uh, at the rear guard circle in the right column of the front row, if you have a Murakumo Vanguard, if and if you have a left arrestor on your left, this unit gets 3k. So pretty alright, uh Murakumo. Uh, we have Hook Magician, Stem Trigger for Pure Moon, and we have we have high power razor custom for Nova Grappler. I, I like this, I really like the art for this of course it is drawn by big focus by this guy that's okay suka uh during your turn if you have a unit named battle razor in the back row at the uh, same column as this unit uh, it gets 8k power so if you have battle razor in the same column this guy can hit for really high numbers it is a double rare very very nice put you right here Alright, Machining Hornet. Machining Hornet skill when this unit is placed on the Vanguard or Rearguard circle. If you have a Machining Vanguard in your soul, uh, this unit gets 3k. Quite basic, 10k beater, just like that. Uh, Boomerang Thrower again, a Nitro Juggler, Lozenge Magus, and Miss Splendor. Miss Splendor from Mova Grappler. When this unit attack, the opponent unit cannot intercept. So, yeah. Uh, your opponent not not able to intercept is quite a big thing um, at the very first season of Vanguard because it really restricts uh, another way of guarding so very very nice alright jumping jail dark pigeon left arrestor there we go uh, war boy and Musashi Murakumo, damn Musashi man. Uh, Musashi skill, he, he's a great tree, a, a 9k base great tree. Uh, just to let you know, when this unit attacks, if the number of real guards you have is more than your opponents, this unit gets 3k until the end of turn. Uh, seems pretty okay, but still, it's Murakumo, man. This is, this is Murakumo's debut, you know. Alright, next, uh, Machining Hornet. Machining Worker N. Uh, when this unit is placed on the rear guard circle, choose one of your rear guards with machining in the card name and stand it. So, it can be placed as a forerunner if you want. It's a great zero, but it's not a forerunner because you can't call it to the rear. But still, some people might play him, I don't know. Uh, Ride Arrestor, Shelter Beater, and another Mushashi. Man, Mushashi. Alright, Luck Pigeon, Spike Bouncer for Spike Brothers. Uh, when this unit attacks, uh, when an attack by another of your Spike Brothers hits the Vanguard, it gets 3k, seems okay. It's alright. Uh, left arrestor, hook magician, and we get rocket hammer man for Nova Grappler. Uh, rest this unit, choose for another of your Nova Grappler, uh, and it gets 2k. It is alright. It's alright. Alright, jumping jill, nitro juggler, razor custom, lozenge magus, and oh wow! Imperial Doctor! Yeah, Imperial Doctor. Imperial Doctor is one of my favorite units from Oracle Think Tank. Um, our Imperial Doctor skill, 
it has restraint she has a restraint so to take note and to get rid of the restraint you have to counter blast one and choose another of your oracle team tank regards and put it into your soul this unit will lose restraint so you have to counter blast and put one oracle team tank unit into your soul and uh continuous during your turn if you do not have any real gas she gets 10k and one crit and the restraint is automatically lost so back in the season one 10k and one crit is a big thing it's a very it's a it's a threat because back in the days we do not have gigas we do not have like uh you know triple drive to have more cards in hand or something like that so this is quite a big threat back in the days and to have imperial daughter is like damn love it this is the double rare version uh she got reprinted in the future extra booster set as a single rare because by then it's not that relevant anymore all right uh powering dragon stricken we have machining worker and machining mantis battle razor there we go the uh, og and we have savage king for tachikaze uh, fun fact this is the only tachikaze card in this booster so yeah uh great tree uh 9k base power egg ability on vanguard and rearguard circle uh, soul blast one and choose one of your tachikaze rearguards and retire it and this guy gets 3k it's meh, it's meh. I don't, I don't see people playing that card. Alright, starting presenter, Fushimi, my man, Razor Custom, Los Angeles Megas, and another Xenon, the star of the show. Alright, Boomerang Thrower, Spike Bouncer, Left Arrester, Shutter Beetle, and Guard Griffin! There we go, Guard Griffin. Guard Griffin is the first ever, uh, how will you say, plus 5k Interceptor. Uh, the skill is Auto Ability. When this unit is placed onto the Guardian Circle, if you have a card gear or Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, Corner Blast 1, and this unit gets 5k shield until the end of turn. Uh, end of battle, I mean. So, it back, uh, back in the days is actually okay, but right now it's like very bad. Cause why would you counter blast one to get additional five k shield when you got with this? There's a better card out there. So, yeah, it's very very irrelevant in today's game. Another cat butler, machining mantis, Ushimi. Warboy and Machining Stack Beetle, yeah! Machining Stack Beetle. Uh, I get, the, the reason why I get excited is because I play the Machining deck and I play Machining Stack Beetle. And finding Machining Stack Beetle in this very old box, I just can't help but to get excited. The skill of Machining Stack Beetle is, when this unit is placed onto the Vanguard Circle, choose up to 2 Mega Colony with Machining in the card name from your soul and call them to the separate rearguard as rest and increase this unit's power by the sum of the original power of the units caught with this effect until the end of turn so if you caught two units like let's say you call one with a 9k power another one with a 7k power this guy will gain the sum of the two which is um 16k so he gets 16k power until the end of turn so yeah it's it's really good card it's a double rare it's a double rare for a reason jumping jill spike bouncer red arrestor hook magician and bellicosity bellicosity on hit counter charge pretty good and this is our last pack let's see what we can get from this last pack Alright, Howling Dragon, Shrekken, Razor Custom, Nitro Juggler, Battle Razor, and what do we get? Promised Daughter. 
promised daughter the pre-evolution of imperial daughter yeah I can actually I can I can see the resemblance yeah promised daughter promised daughter skill uh, choose an oracle think tank from your hand and discard it when this unit attacks you may pay the cost if you do she gets 5k until the end of battle so you have to discard one to give her additional 5k which is um, alright it seems okay but given that this is an oracle think tank unit uh, where your hand size is pretty darn big people might you know why not just sacrifice a card from your uh, hand to give that extra boost so yeah promise daughter very nice and that's the end of the uh, unboxing of Astra Booster 01, the comic style booster. Yeah. And Escublator Buster, I can't believe this is the promo for the box. Man, I have to keep this. Uh, for our hoods, we can we get the Machining Stack Beetle, we get the Imperial Daughter, we get Dueling Dragon Zambaku. Uh, high power rays are custom of course but still this is the one i am so happy to get during dragon zambaku you have no idea yeah no one escapes for my blade binding slash so yeah thank you guys so much for watching uh this unboxing of comic star booster and I will see you guys next time for another video. May it be an unboxing, that profile, or a showdown. See you guys next time.